in this video we have been given a right angle triangle whose perimeter is 126 and area is 630 then we have to find side length of the triangle so suppose base bc is a and height ab is b and ac is c then we have perimeter is 126 and perimeter it will be a plus b plus c that is 126 suppose it is equation 1 and we have area is 630 and area it will be 1 by 2 times base is a times height is b it is 630 so ab it will be 260 suppose it is equation 2 and now by pythagoras theorem we can get a square plus b square is equal to c square suppose it is equation 3 so we have a plus b plus c is 126 it is equation 1 ab is 260 it is equation 2 and a square plus b square is c square it is equation 3 and now from equation 1 we have a plus b plus c is 126 and a plus b it will be 126 minus c and if we square it both side then it will be a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to 126 square plus c square minus 2 times 100 26 times c and a square plus b square it is c square plus 2 times ab is 260 it is equal to 126 square plus c square minus 2 times 126 times c and c square when get cancelled so 2 times 260 it is equal to 126 square minus 2 times 126 times c and it is 2 times 260 it is 100 Twenty-six times ten, it is equal to one hundred twenty-six square. It is one hundred twenty-six times one hundred twenty-six minus two times one hundred twenty-six times c. And one hundred twenty-six we get cancelled. So it is two times ten is equal to 126 minus 2 times c and it is 
is equal to 126 minus 2c. So 2c, it will be equal to 106 and c will be equal to 106 by 2. So c is equal to 53. And now we have a plus b plus c is 126 and it is a plus b plus c is 53, it is 126. So a plus b, it will be equal to 126 minus 53. So a plus b, it will be equal to 73. And we have a b is 1260. And for equation x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. The root of this equation is alpha and beta. So for equation x square minus a plus b x plus a b is equal to 0. The root of this equation will be a and b and it is x square minus a plus b is 73 x plus a b is 1260 it is equal to 0 and now 1260 it is 2 times 630 2 times 315 3 times 105 3 times 35 and 5 times 7 so 260 it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 and 260 it is equal to if we take 2 2 and 7 together then 2 times 2 times 7 is 28 times 3 times 3 times 5 is 45 and 73 it is 28 plus 45 So it will be x square and minus 73x, it will be minus 28x minus 45x plus 260, it is equal to 0 and it is x times x minus 28 minus 45 times x minus 28 is equal to 0. And it is x minus 45 times x minus 28 is equal to 0. So either x minus 45, it can be 0. So x will be equal to 45. And either x minus 28, it can be 0. So x will be equal to 28. And we know that the root of this equation is a and b. So either a can be 45 and b can be 28 and either a can be 28 and b can be 45. And 
we have C is 53. We have C is 53. So A, B, C, it can be 45, 28, 53 and it can be 28, 45, 53.